Hey MTV News, my name is Kenneth Hutchison. I'm a fourth year PhD student at Northwestern University where I study virology, or viruses. Today, I'm gonna answer some of your COVID questions. How concerned should I be about this new COVID-19 strain? As a normal person, really none at all. This is because the same safety precautions that you should be taking already, such as washing your hands, staying socially distant, and wearing a mask, are going to be the same things needed to prevent the spread of this new strain. However, what this strain highlights is how important it is to defeat a virus quickly. The longer this virus is circulating in the human population, the more chances it has to mutate and become more dangerous or more contagious, thus making it harder for us to fight off. So the sooner we all get vaccinated and the sooner we stop the spread, the easier and less concern we have about these viruses. Will a one-time vaccine protect me from COVID-19 or will we need an annual shot sort of like the flu? For now, all we can officially say is that you'll need at least two shots from the Pfizer or Moderna approved vaccines here in the United States, each of which require a priming shot and then a booster shot either 21 or 28 days later respectively. Outside of that, only time will tell. You could be protected for six months, six years, or six decades. We can only officially say that you'll be protected for as long as the vaccine has been out. I heard the side effects of the vaccine can be worse than getting COVID-19. Is this true, and what are they? So, not really. COVID-19 ranges on a spectrum of symptoms, from asymptomatic infection, meaning no symptoms, which is pretty hard to beat, to severe COVID-19, which can include cardiovascular damage, lung damage, multiple organ failure, and even death, which the vaccine doesn't do. The most common side effects to expect from the vaccine are gonna be pain at the site of injection, maybe some soreness or swelling, body aches and pains, fatigue, and maybe a fever or chills. But these aren't so much side effects as they really are signs that your immune system is training against the vaccine. Do I still need to get the vaccine if I've already had COVID-19? Yes. The reason for this being is that natural infection by COVID-19 ranges on a spectrum from severe disease to asymptomatic infection, and your immune response can match, providing you with only a few weeks to maybe even years of protection. But who knows, because it's all a range. The point of a vaccine is to give everybody the same exposure, giving everybody the same general window of protection, so we can let you know if or when you may need a booster to continue being immune. What is the likelihood we're gonna see another pandemic after COVID-19? You're not gonna like this answer, but probably high. Just in the past 20 years, we've had multiple viral outbreaks, from the original SARS outbreak in 2003, to the swine flu pandemic of 2009, MERS in 2012, Zika in 2016, and now this pandemic in 2019. So the likelihood that it'll happen again is relatively high. The question for researchers like myself isn't if, but when the next outbreak will occur and which virus will cause it. This is why pandemic preparedness and emerging infectious disease specialists are so important. Now, what is the likelihood that we'll have another pandemic of this scale or higher? I'm hopeful that in our lifetimes, the answer is none. However, that's up to mother nature and how well we respond during the next viral outbreak. Hopefully that helped answer some of your COVID-19 questions. If you have any others, you can always reach out to me on Instagram, on my handle, at Kenna Hutchison, or look for the answers yourself on the CDC's website at www.cdc.gov COVID-19. Till next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and wear a mask.